In this video, we're going to show you how to set up an Azure app for a mailbox migration in the Cloudaway tool set. Now, when you create an Azure app, this is a help article that will help you fill out everything you need to fill out in this application. But in this video, we're only going to focus on how we add the mail migration APIs into your Azure app. So there's several different APIs depending on what you're migrating that you would need to set up in addition to this, possibly for your project, but this is just for the mail migration because if you're familiar with the Azure app creation process, some of these APIs may look familiar to you. However, right now in Exchange Online, we have to set up this API a little bit differently in Microsoft. So to do that, we have the application and we can go to API permissions and we can see that we have whatever graph API is delegated or otherwise APIs based on your setup that you need to do. Now, in this help article, you'll see two asterisks down here. So we're going to jump down to the note for this. Note that this gives you a link to a Microsoft article on how to add this particular API into your Azure app. So this is the article right here. And it has a few things it wants to show you, but we're going to focus on this setting here, configure for app only authentication, specifically this app ID, in fact. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the manifest section of our Azure app. And we need to scroll down and we need to find the required resource access section of the manifest area. So required resource access, and we want to find resource app ID and resource access. In this case, we will find just one ID inside of there. So that's the API that's already added. Now, what we want to do is, in your case, this might be all you see, but you also could see 5, 10, 15 or more other scopes in here and other apps in here. If you're not familiar with JSON, this can be really confusing. So you need to make sure that you get yourself lined up with where this starts. And in this case, the resource app ID area starts at this curly bracket and ends here. Now, if we go over to the Microsoft KB article, again, we're going to only focus on this app ID that's in this article and not this one. So the app ID starting in 3B5 is not the one we want to work with. We want to work with DC8 and so on. We can actually copy this entire string out, go back to our manifest page in our Azure app. And basically, when we find the curly brace open and close brackets above resource app ID and below all of the other IDs, basically the one that closes it off, we can enter a comma right here and press enter for a new line and paste what we copied from the Microsoft article into the manifest page. Now, if you have a save button you can actually click on, that means at least something about your syntax is correct, but that does not mean you've put this in the right spot. The next step is to click save. Now go to API permissions, and now you will see this full access as app listed in the API permissions section. And make sure it says application and use Exchange Web Services, etc. Because if you incorrectly entered or copied and pasted that information into the manifest area, you'll still see something here, but it won't be correct. We still don't know if this is absolutely correct, but once we click grant admin consent and click the yes, Everything went well. We've got our green check mark, and now we have added the correct application to our Azure app to utilize the Cloudyway mail migration tools.